In this video, I will show you how to download and install apps on your Hisense Android TV. Now over here is my 55 inch Hisense Android TV, but it doesn't matter the size or model of Hisense Android TV you have. By the end of this video, I'm going to show you two ways you can download and install any app you want into your Hisense Android TV. First things first, you have to make sure that your Hisense Android TV is connected to the internet. So if you want to make sure your Android TV is connected to the internet, just come over to the settings at the top of the TV over here and then come over to the Wi-Fi and internet settings and then just make sure it is connected to your home Wi-Fi. Once that is done, we can now proceed with the first method of installing apps into your Hisense Android TV and that is basically from the Google Play Store. To find the Google Play Store from the home of your Hisense Android TV, you just want to scroll over to the apps section at the top of the TV. So from the home, just scroll over to the top and then to this app section using your navigation buttons. Just scroll downwards and then navigate to this Google Play Store app. Usually this app is pre-installed, so you most likely would find it already on your Hisense Android TV. So just go ahead and select it just like so. And once the Google Play Store opens up, you just want to search for the specific app you want to download and install into your Hisense Android TV. Usually, you can just use the search button or search icon at the top of your Hisense Android TV and then just enter inside of this input field and type whatever app you want. So let's take for instance the VLC Media Player app. I can go ahead and just type VLC. And once you find the app, you can just click on the install button over here to download and install the app into your Hisense Android TV. Usually this will take a couple of minutes, but once it is downloaded and installed, you can just open it by clicking on the open button over here. Now from the Google Play Store, you will also notice that apps are actually arranged in different categories. So if you scroll downwards all the way to the bottom, you actually find all of the categories over here and you can just select any category to see all of the apps in a specific category. The Google Play Store also has the game section where you can actually download and install any game you want from here into your Hisense Android TV without any issue. All you have to do is to select that specific app and then just click on the install button from the home of the TV and then just into the app section. If you scroll downwards, you can literally see this is basically the VLC Media Player app we just downloaded and installed. Now, obviously, there are instances where you may not be able to find the app you want from the Google Play Store and this actually brings us to the second method to download and install apps on our Hisense Android TV. Now, I'll quickly show you how this is done. First things first, you have to make sure you go over to the Google Play Store, come inside of this MP field and search for Downloader. Once the Downloader app is selected, you want to make sure you download and install it. Mine is already downloaded and installed. So I'll go ahead and open it up directly from here. Now this is basically how the home page of the downloader app looks like and from here to download and install any app that is not on the Google Play Store you just want to head over to the browser tab at the top over here. So come over to this browser and then enter this input field at the top of the browser tab. Then go ahead and search for that specific third-party app that is not on the Google Play Store that you want on your Hisense Android TV. So take for instance, if we want to download and install the Facebook app, I'll just go ahead and search for Facebook, then add APK at the back of it. So basically, Facebook APK or any app you want, then APK. And once you're done, just go ahead and click on the enter button over here. Now, this will basically search the Google search results and give us some of the websites we can actually download and install that third party app APK that is not on the Google Play Store into our Hisense Android TV. What you just want to do is to look for any of the reliable websites you can actually get that third party app. In this case, since it's the Facebook app, I'll just go ahead and select the official Facebook website, which is basically this Facebook Lite website at the bottom over here. And then you just want to go ahead and click on the download button from the website you were able to get that third party app apk automatically the app will be downloaded and it will start installing into your hisense android tv and if you're using the downloader for the first time you might actually get the prompts to give downloader permission to install apps from unknown sources make sure you give it that permission so that it can allow you install the app then just go ahead and click on the install button at the bottom over here and once you see that your app is installed, you can go ahead and as well open it up directly from here. One thing you will notice is that at the end of the day, apps that are downloaded by this second method may not be found on the home page or on the app section of your Hisense Android TV. Usually to find these types of app, what you just want to do from the home of your Hisense Android TV is to scroll over to the app section on the settings of the TV. So come over to the settings of your Hisense Android TV and then just come over to app section over here here 
and then just scroll downwards until you get to the see all apps option over here click on see all apps from here you should be able to find that third party app that is not on the google play store that you've just downloaded and installed into your hisense android tv if you do not find it from here go over to the show system apps option mine is literally over here so i can go ahead and open it up directly from here and then just click on the open button and just like so i have a third party app running smoothly on my hisense android tv if you find this video useful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one